By the way, you're probably gonna see my excitement rise higher and higher because I'm meeting up with people today. Dale Decker, Brian Betts, and Tanner Lawler are coming out here to skate. And in this area, I just found a spot that I've been wanting to skate since day one. There's someone already here, so I might kind of chill with the camera until Brian gets here. Or I might just film myself skating it. Hey, this whole group is just vloggers. Yep. Like Tanner vlogs Even as well. Tanner, I posted one video a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you do. This so, is the gap you propped up this great and skate over this? Yeah. No, other people do. You wouldn't do it. <laughs> that was your Taiwanese your trip. That's fun. Dude, Dale, I'm fair, so excited fair. to see you. I don't so think I've given my enthusiasm enough on my camera. It's these skater boys, bro. Skater boys. Skater. We're gonna skate these benches, which we I haven't even skated them yet. I did one T slide, I've been skating flag on the whole time. Oh really? Yeah, so now we're about to skate the actual benches, the actual spot. <sighs> Too excited. I like literally have to calm down. Like six days of buildup necessary for a session like that to happen and the fun that I was just having and the darkness of my face and this guy right here for filming most of it I appreciate you buddy you're welcome sir all the skating and Brian thank you for filming you freaking man you freaking manly man man anyways are we gonna film something yeah we are all right right now I'm spending time with Dale we're gonna film something I just want to stay here all day but I have like a few errands I gotta run later but mainly here skateboarding and maybe even after this going skateboarding we'll see more spots Chalk fun up. life shocky Shocker, bro. It's shocky. Hit it, bro. You want to hear the strangest thing ever? I'm going into Walmart right now just for the sake of me not going there in a long time. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> Why am I talking like I'm talking? I feel like I'm like a miniature stroke or something. Oh, excuse my inability to say words correctly right now. I'm still waking up from that nap. Subway smells so bad. I'm sorry, I just walked by it in the front. It smelled so horrible. I wasn't in the market for men's body spray until I saw this face. And now the urge is real. I wanna play with these skateboards right here. Every single Walmart employee is right there. What? Check out this new Walmart board. I've actually never seen this before, but these new Walmart longboards though, are so dope. Look at the trucks. They're actual longboard trucks, which means they're backwards. Or since it's Walmart, maybe they're just backwards trucks. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the employees to walk away. And we gonna party to you like it's 1904. <laughs> that was my favorite year for partying. Dude, which one do I get? Real gold or real white? All right, they got these things right here on them, the plastic tool section. I just walked by someone. <laughs> And they were on the phone, they were like, they're like, yeah, the white group seemed like they had more blah blah blah. And then she like saw me and realized what she had just said. She's like, yeah, 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 the white the white t-shirt group, the white t-shirt group. <laughs> the most enthusiastic employees of all freaking time. Dude, if I had a boss like that at any job, bro, I'd be so pumped. I'm about to sell the balls out of whatever this is. Just posted an Insta story asking the people which one they prefer out of the red and the green. The red one. An 
actual update that's a little surprising. Um, they're kind of rolling for a long time. Oh. <laughs> This is so much better than the regular boards. things are amazing I'm not even kidding it actually rolls way better than a normal Walmart board and I think they're stepping it up a little bit because someone the other day actually in my comments said dude they're actually pretty good now man you got to check them out again and I think it's just because they're buying from products that are actually within skating like they buy dark star boards now for completes and now it seems like they're trying to step up their game because this board actually feels somewhat normal still a little laggy with the bearings but dude improvement Hella improvement. I'm tired. I think this is about the time that I'd be going to sleep in Thailand, but in Thailand I adjusted right away. And right now, it's fine. I just don't want to take naps in the middle of the day. I want it to be back to normal schedule, so I'm trying to hold off on sleeping until tonight. But the only problem is I have to drive about an hour, which is very exhausting and tiring, and I don't want to be dangerous on the road. So I'm like sort of stuck in a pickle. Uh, yeah, so right now I'm just gonna get some organic kitchen and juice and maybe putting some food in my belly will make the whole world go round. Uh, I got there at about 10 a.m. and skated until about 3 p.m., which is five hours of intensity. And also I had so much to compensate for because I hadn't skated in so long that I put all my efforts into it. And now clearly you can probably tell that it's taking a toll on me. And I just want to lay on the floor right here because everything around here is closed. Anyone? Oh my saving grace. Uh, can I just get a veggie burrito? Corn, guac lettuce. Great underwear, soft. Ah, H3 podcast with Markiplier and some dude from Smosh. I never really knew about them. Chipotle, thank you for being open today. I felt like I'm like praying. Chipotle, are you in the sky? I appreciate you today existing and letting me give you money. All right, can we just acknowledge the fact that I'm wearing a jacket right now in California and in Thailand I was wearing shorts and still melting? So the video of me doing Muay Thai for the first time just went up and a lot of people were like, yo, it kind of looks like you have some experience there, which thanks man, that's a super cool compliment. It means a lot and I did. Actually, when I was seven, to about 11 years old, I took Taekwondo, but that's so young, I didn't even think in any way that that would still register somewhat, but I think it might have. Uh, I actually became a black belt in Taekwondo, and then our family sort of just quit and moved on. My entire family did it with us. It was super, super fun, and as you could probably see in the video of me doing Muay Thai, I was having a lot of fun. It was really exciting, and I wish I could do stuff like that more often, and I want to, and since then, I do once in a while, I'll sit in a room and I'll sort of practice kicks and practice punches. Muay Thai is completely different, and I did Taekwondo though, which is more for show rather than actual combat, I would say. Oh my gosh. I came home yesterday and I fell asleep faster than a speeding bullet in your mom. It's the next morning. I fell asleep as soon as I came home and I fell asleep at the correct time. So I think I'm being adjusted at least slowly but surely to the correct timing of California. But Thank you guys for watching today. It was a long, long vlog. It was a compilation of pretty much two days and I hope you enjoyed, man. It's, it's probably a really long one. And for that, I say, you're welcome. With all the skateboarding included, it felt so good to be out there just grinding and freaking go skate with the Walmart board, which is so fun. I should spend more time on that actually, but I do have it with me now. So you'll see it in the next couple of days, the videos throughout, but lots of planning for lots of cool things coming up. And also anyone who goes to imjohnhill.com, link in the description below and bought any of the new product. Thank you so much and check it out if you haven't yet. Love you guys so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.